All right, guys, I'm showing you this new game I just downloaded. Just showing how I think the early game is kind of broken for anybody who knows how to play a game. It's the kind of basic game you like to you see all, kind of all the time. You can upgrade your stuff, play PvP battles, play, pay premium currency to speed stuff up. I got the choice of two different guys here. This is the slower one. He gets to have two guns. The other guy only gets to have one. The point of this is that I don't really care how fast I'm going to be because I'm not really going to be fighting the enemies the same way everybody else is. I have two lock-on rockets equipped. For whatever reason, they put this gun in the game where I can just lock on to people and have 100% accuracy and reloads every 12 seconds. Look how, how much damage that guy just took from that. This is something that you're able to buy right off the bat. Now that guy's getting some hit on, hits on me, but it's not going to matter. Because I'm really not going to be in the fight much this whole game. Now that guy stole my kill, but you could tell, obviously, I did like all the damage for it. The only way you can really mess up these rockets is if you're too close to a building. See that guy took over a fifth of his damage. And I can just keep reloading this. I can shoot it from cover. So you can upgrade these weapons and the first couple upgrades take very little resources, very little time to upgrade. So this guy can only survive maybe one more volley. So you can capture the points or you can win by just all the other enemies being dead. So when I shoot this guy again in two seconds, he's going to be done. And look, they're just running out of guys. I've never actually lost a game uh, in this War Machines or whatever I'm playing. I don't, I don't even know the name of it. I just picked it up, and it's so far the early game is just so easy to figure out the meta. Like All I have to do is hide back here and shoot lock-on rockets. You get tons of rewards. You know, usually I'll get like, you know, a couple kills. The last match I had three kills, which is half the team. The only way you can mess this up, like you saw, I had one of those rockets on the building. I didn't give it enough um, room to swoop up. It's really the only way you can mess this up. So that guy, he'll survive with like a sliver of health left after I shoot him one more time. If he takes a hit from anybody else, he's done. Yeah, like my teammate's gonna finish him off, it looks like. He's so far away. He's. 500 meters away, and I just lock on rocket. There he goes, another one down. <laughs> so they have one guy left. Now it's one on four. Because I'm just like this insane support. Be and like, I don't even have to face him. I can actually turn to the side quite a bit. See that whole green range? As long as I stay within that, like, they're all going to lock on. They're all going to hit. Oh, I need to take this point over, actually. That's kind of one of my challenges. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Turn this. I'm gonna get more resources if I. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Capture this point. I've I've never actually seen the game go to you know the point capture thing, because I just kill everybody. <laughs> See, like with how much health this this mech has, it doesn't even matter. He could look at me and shoot me if he wants, but he doesn't have a chance because these rockets are so much damage. I spent, you know, all my resources upgrading them, and he missed me. See, I can't miss with this. This is crazy. Completely broken early meta. I'm, I'm wondering if it's gonna, you know, get outdated pretty soon. But until then, it's pretty funny. Kind of a dick move, but now it's gonna tell me how much stuff I get. Let's see. I think I had at least two or three kills. 
more achievements unlocked. I feel like I get an achievement every time. Oh, five keys. More keys. Ranking up. You've reached the final reward. I don't I don't know what that means. I'm just getting tons and tons of resources. Let's see what my stats were. Yep, three kills, which it's a team of six. I did so much damage. Seventy thousand silver. I you actually get um, premium currency from every battle. So I got ten gold. That's actually kind of cool. The game gives you premium currency every battle. Or maybe just when you win, I don't know. Because I've never seen what happens when you lose. Um, no, I'm not paying. I'm not paying the monies. No need to pay the monies. Okay, unlock challenges. What did I do? Oh yeah, the capture the beacon. So this is one weird thing. It says you can watch a video to add progress to a challenge. That to me is very obscure. Oh yes, spiral. So you can also watch videos to uh, speed up the progress of your um, your upgrades. That spiral is that is the cannon that uh, the lock on rockets. So I'll probably do that after I stop the video. So. Anyway, um, it looks like it's it could be a fun game <laughs> um, when the meta changes a little bit, maybe later on. For now, um, it's just very, very easy. With how much resources I got too, so seventy thousand. The um, the next upgrade. Let's see. This one. Oh, I can't. I can't even show how much. Oh yes, I can. I can hit like this. 200,000 to upgrade, and that's after I've upgraded three times already, so just to show you, it's pretty inexpensive, because I have 828,000, just keep upgrading, I'm not, I haven't even really upgraded my guy, the guy himself, because I don't really get hit, like you saw me take a couple hits in the beginning, and that's it, but anyway, there it is, maybe I'll post another video if, if the game gets more interesting. But until then, that's what I've been doing.